Well, we are less than 48 hours away from kickoff here at the Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas, as Montana and South Dakota State get set to line it up for the FCS National Championship. And on Friday, they held media day here in Frisco as we got a chance to catch up with the coaches and players. And you could see how reflective they all were as this moment is beginning to sink in. As players and coaches filed into Toyota Stadium on Friday, the reality of Sunday's championship tilt heightened with every interview as game day inches near. It didn't really, it didn't really set in that we were playing in the national championship until we walked off the plane and, and started practicing here in Frisco. Um, it's, it's been a great experience so far. Every, everything we've done has been working towards playing in this national championship. I think everyone's pretty locked in. Everyone's focused on, on trying to win this sucker. On the Grizzly side, Montana is here for the first time in 14 years and first time in Frisco. The lights are brighter than ever, but the Grizz are making sure they aren't phased by the stakes, the outside noise, or the task in front of them. We know, we know when to have fun and we know when to lock in. At all times, we're, all, we're always thinking about the game, of course, but like in, in our free time, we're really trying to just enjoy each other, trying to level, level on each other, you know, as teammates. And then when it's practice, walkthroughs and all that, we, we know what we got to do and we're all locked in. On the flip side, South Dakota State has been here before with two championship game appearances since the spring of 2021. They know exactly how to approach a game like this and win. And so it's about replicating it once again. Kind of workmanlike, you know, that first time you're kind of like getting led around like a herd of sheep. You don't really know what's going on. It's definitely been, you know, a blessing to be here um, a couple times and, you know, get the, get the feel of it down. That's why so many of their key players came back was to win and keep the Jackrabbits at the top. You know, we all came back for a reason and I think we kind of knew what that was. And we all came back just because we care so much about each other. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's about winning. It's about, you know, getting another national championship. You know, coming back for this last year with my brothers, it's regardless of how this game turns out, it was always worth it to me. But they know the thrill of victory as well as the agony of defeat in title games. And for SDSU head coach Jimmy Rogers, he remembers both equally for different reasons. It's not so much winning, it's uh, not letting people down. A lot of the players that I've had the opportunity to coach, that's, that's what maybe fuels me. Uh, more than the hype of a championship. It's making sure everybody gets the most out of their God-given ability to be at their best and end on the right note. And uh, this senior group means the world to me. Grizz head coach Bobby Houck has been to three of these before and lost each one. But now Montana is back and they're going to need their sharpest performance to get the Grizzlies back at the pinnacle of the FCS. You know, when you get to this game, the team on the other side is always good. As simple as it may sound, you know, both teams are good football teams. You have to go play well to win the game. If you don't play well, there's no way you're going to win it. So you have to go play well and get a couple of breaks, and that's the way it goes. Reporting in Frisco, Texas, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.